I know the way. You don't know the way.
Thank <laughs> you.
Hello and hi. Hello there. What is it here? There we go. Hello, Wolf Wolf Bark Bark. How it goes? Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And hello, everyone. It is I, Game Trooper One One Three Eight. And here we are, halfway through the week. I apologize. I didn't stream yesterday. I was going to, but then we got a tornado warning here. So, <laughs> I could not stream yesterday. And I do apologize, uh, I didn't stream Sunday uh, either because I was really not feeling good. I was hurting a lot and I had to call out of work Monday and I was just in a lot of pain, but I am feeling better. So much better than what I was Monday, but you know, at least Monday morning, because eventually later on in Monday, I kind of felt better. Felt better. I'm feeling better than what I did Monday morning, Sunday, and for whatever reason, Saturday, which Saturday didn't bother me as bad. Sunday is when it got worse, and then Monday was even worse, and then I felt better. Fortunately enough, I did not have to go to the doctor. But be known, I am feeling better, and I will do a stream tomorrow. <clears throat> I'll still take a Friday off, because I don't want to get too burnt out. And then, we'll have a stream on Saturday and Sunday. As far as I know, Saturday's plans is still the same. Sunday... I'm not sure. I know I've been slacking up on Fallout 3 and Mass Effect 3. But hopefully, maybe Sunday we can get back into Fallout 3 and Mass Effect 3. But for right now, tonight we are continuing our adventure in Dragon Age Inquisition. So let's go ahead and get this going and get that started. How are we doing, chat? How are we doing? How are all of y'all doing? Are they doing really good? Well, I guess I better take this phone call because, uh, in like less than two hours, he'll be going to sleep. So, chat, I will be right back. Uh, oh. I'll be right back, chat.
Sorry about that, chat. Uh, that was my buddy calling. I needed to answer his call. Uh, apparently he found some really awesome Star Wars mods for Boulder's Gate. So, awesome. Might be some Boulder's Gate Star Wars during the month of May. going all right on the stream here let me check okay now it's showing me the stream stuff hang on but that one's behind how about that I know we got a delay Okay, there we go. Alright, alright. I am 100% for sure the stream is going and it's fine. Alright. Hello? Can I help you with something? Uh, so you're a mage. You said you were a mage? No, but just an apprentice. I was never very good at magic. I've got just enough talent to be a danger to other people. But when the mages rebelled, people like me had nowhere to go. Templars would have killed us. Luckily, the secret Pentecost took me in, along with the Tranquil I was protecting. You didn't join the rebels? I'm surprised that even an apprentice mage wouldn't join the rebellion. I don't like using magic to fight. I'm not good at it either. I like studying. I like performing rituals that helped us unlock the secrets of the Veil. I liked having the Templars around to keep us safe. in the minority most circle mages i've met have a different opinion of the templars they have not lived my life i was born into a dalish clan i lived there until my magic manifested the dalish cannot risk having too many mages in one clan and i was one more than they could bear hmm, they gave me a pack and sent me into the woods to find my own life i was seven years old wow Sorry. I stumbled into a village, starving and cold, a few weeks later. I started using magic to scare predators away. The villagers saw me make fire in my fist. They were terrified and wanted to kill me. Jeez. Templars saved me from them. 
They gave me food and clothes and took me to the circle. I've seen what life is like without the Templars, and I want no part of it. I just want to study. Uh, you protected the Tranquil? It's not that far. You said that you were keeping some of the Tranquil safe? Yes. The mages took some of them when my circle rebelled. The rest were forgotten. Most circle mages look down on the Tranquil, or try to pretend they don't exist. They don't have any emotions. They can barely take care of themselves. Can't defend themselves at all. It's a shame. I like them better than most people. They're lucky to have you. I'm glad they have someone who cares about them. They deserve better. They're polite, they're rational, and they'll never get angry at you. When they study, they have a focus no normal person could ever match. But the Templars, even some of the mages, hmm. mistreated them just because they could. The Tranquil never fought back. If not for that, I... I don't know. Doesn't really matter now. You research creatures? You said Cassandra has you researching creatures. Yes. If you find anything interesting in your travels, I'd appreciate you bringing it to me. I may be able to find some weakness our soldiers can exploit when fighting various creatures. Oh, At the okay. least, some materials are useful for making potions or gear for the Inquisition. Okay, why? Why did you decide to research dangerous creatures? I like the outdoors. The idea of the outdoors, anyway. When some monster is coming at you, glowing eyes and burning claws, it's terrifying. But once you know how it works, you can deal with it. It's just another part of the world. So much of this world is only frightening because we don't understand it. I'll speak with you later. Travel safely. Interesting. Uh, did I turn in my research stuff? We can use that. Huh. I guess I did not. Very well then. Onward! For she who trusts in the Maker, fire is her water. As the moth flies through. Too many wounded, and not enough hands. Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous. The pretty much what we're going to do here is get all the dialogue the stuff written. here done. Is that what you want from us? Blood. To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak Flandraste, no? What does the Maker's Prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? How is this a game? Do you see the sky? What about the temple ruins? The bones lying in the dust? Even if you didn't support the Divine's peace, you wouldn't call this right. Who could? So many innocent lives. The faithful murdered where the holiest of holies once stood. If the Maker willed this, what is it if not a game or a cruel joke? I can't speak for Andraste. I speak for no one but myself, and I have no answers for you. Then we can only guess at what he wants. The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandoned us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. Mm, you could blame her killers. Um, maybe you should be angry at the people who murdered her? If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me, working with the Divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. You? Maybe you have another purpose. I could help you find it. No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come, to work then. We will speak later. Master Harry said that without more ore, he won't be able to get flames mm -hmm. for the recruits. Tell Master Harry that ore doesn't grow on trees. Yes, Ma. Ridiculous. 
There were so many questions surrounding Faria's death. Did he think we wouldn't notice? He's killed Faria, one of my best agents, and knows where the others are. You know what must be done. Make it clean. Painless if you can. We were friends once. Remain silent. It will be done. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. Trust me. Everything I do is to protect our interests. Now if you're happy, I have more work to do. Very well, I guess I, maybe I should have said something. No, my lord, I don't know where the other nobles are. I suggest you ask Ambassador Montillier. Oh, you're him, Thren, Inquisition Quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. Uh, okay, what is your job? What do you do here? I make sure the Inquisition troops have food in their bellies and iron in their hands. Both are important. Lots of people expecting us to be heroes, marching all day to fight the demons. Turns out heroes need to dig latrines just like everyone else. Hmm. How did you end up here? How does someone end up as quartermaster for the Inquisition? I served for Elden under Tenlo Gain Mactir. Best ah. commanding officer this world has ever seen. After they all turned on him at dinner, in though, there wasn't much use for people who held that opinion. Queen Honora offered my services to the Inquisition. It was a kindness. She knew I supported her father and got me away from the political garbage. Logan is a Grey Warden now, correct? I understand <laughs> Logan joined the Grey Wardens after the blight ended. He didn't really join, he was. A mercy, people <laughs> called it. Serving the order they say he betrayed. He could have led Ferelden to greatness. Instead, he lives in exile, fighting Darkspawn until the day he dies. Can I help you with something? Okay, no, no, no. we're not going through that again. Uh, uh, tell me about requisitions. What did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? I'm making this Inquisition run with what we have, but mm -hmm. we're not a real army. We're True. stretched thin on material. So I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. You find some iron and a good logging site. Maybe Harriet can get our troops better weapons. All right, how do I feel special orders? If I have material for a special order, do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take the materials or jot down what you found. All right. Farewell. Make a go with me. So pretty much like if I find anything from any of the open rifts with the Dalish Elf. So we need two more two more pieces of uh, iron and we gotta find one logging site. Oh, there's very So now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. I'm fine. It's not so bad. I'm taking it in stride. Better than most of us, then. Slightly For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. Why... why did you stay? If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this... Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. Uh, haven't really sunken in yet, uh... <laughs> I'm still not sure I believe that any of this is really happening. If this is all just the Maker winding us up, I hope there's a damn good punchline coming. 
You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. Mm. We're going to need a miracle. Okay, so with Varric being a character who first appeared in Dragon Age 2, he should have some stories about Hawk and their adventures. Need something? Let's see. I have questions about Hawk. I've read your tale of the champion, and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. Where are Hawk's friends? Where yeah. are the rest of Hawk's associates now? Meryl decided to look after the elves left homeless by the fighting. Okay. She's done a pretty good job of keeping them away from the mages and templars, so far. Hmm. I guess she has plenty of practice avoiding stupid human battles with her own Dalish clan. Isabella went back to the Raiders. She's calling herself an Admiral now. I don't know if she's actually in charge or just has a really big hat. Might be the same thing, honestly. Abilene is still guard captain. I'm pretty sure Kirkwall would fall into the sea if she quit her job. Probably. That's not everybody, Need though. Something. I've read your tale of the champion, and I have a few questions. Action. Go ahead. What happened to Anders? What happened to the mage who destroyed the Kirkwall Chantry? The book never said. He fled Kirkwall with the mages from the Circle. Stayed with them a while. Mm -hmm. But he had to move on. Somehow a lot of mages blamed him for making them live as fugitives. I don't know where he is now, and I don't want to know. Uh... Reasonable. Oh my gosh. Restream is having a hard time wanting to. <laughs> I have no idea where it's at right now. But it's not synced up right now. As long as it's not really interfering with the stream that you guys are seeing, we're all good. Let's see. Or seamless fake made no sense. In the book, you say that. First Enchanter Orsino turned himself into a giant monster made of corpses? How? Why? Do I look like an expert on magical weirdness to you? Well, I can't tell you how. For the why, all I can say is he was desperate. Well, you made up the air shock fight? <laughs> there is no way Hawk really could have killed the air shock. It would have started a war with the Canari. I was told later that the Kunari disavowed his actions. Oh. Apparently the Arashok didn't get permission before he attacked Kirkwall and the Kuhn didn't want another exalted march. When they finally sent a ship uh. to haul the Red Dreadnought away, they just said, We will never speak of this again. As far as I can tell, that's the Kuhn's version of an apology. Well then, Carry on. glad to be caught up. something is there anything else about I've read your tale of the champion and I have a few questions that's a pretty common reaction go ahead never mind carry on okay there's no further Need things something. to learn all right personal questions then can I ask you something Varric you want to talk about me I'm flattered also inclined toward extravagant lies <laughs> How do you know Cassandra? How do you and Cassandra know each other? You heard about the Kirkwall Chantry being destroyed? The guy responsible used to be a friend of mine. The Seeker had questions about that, and I had answers. Where are you from? You from Ferelden? Orle? Free marches, born and raised in Kirkwall. And despite whatever you've heard, no. Kirkwall's not that bad. What do you do? I'm not clear on your line of work. You're a merchant? I'm a businessman. My family has a seat in the Dwarven Merchants Guild. Merchants buy and sell goods. Businessmen buy and sell stores. In my spare time, I manage a spy network, and occasionally, I write books. 
So you could do Liliana's job. If you've run a spy network, why is Liliana our spy master? To be honest with you, she's just a better spy master. The truly great ones can keep their distance. They don't get attached to their people. Me, I always wind up babysitting my informants and worrying about their families. We're in better hands with her. Oh. Uh, Alright. Uh, what shops do you own? What sort of shops do you own? Actually, we don't own shops. That was just an example. Mostly we invest in money lenders. Auction houses, a few mercenary companies, a couple of smithies. I think we own half a beet plantation in Ravane somewhere. Most of that's my brother's doing. Bartrand had business sense. Not much tact, but loads of business sense. Uh, what books do you write? You're an author? What kind of books have you written? I tried my hands at a few genres. My crime serials are my most popular. Hard in Hightown, guards breaking the rules to get things done. <laughs> the Tale of the Champion, the most famous thing I've written, or infamous, maybe. I started a romance serial once, Swords and Shields, but to be honest, I don't have a knack for romances. Most of my stories end in tragedy. Probably that says something unfortunate about me personally. Mm, what about your crossbow? Where did you get that crossbow? I've never seen one like it. Bianca? She's one of a kind. There's a hidden shop in Kirkwall called the Black Emporium. I found her in a barrel labeled Swag. The owner sold her to me for a ham sandwich and a pair of yellow ruffled pants. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and it's, it is a very nice crossbow. It is a very, very nice crossbow. Why Bianca? Who is she named for? I can't tell you. Well, why not? And the reason for that is... Complicated. It's the one story I'll never tell. We just have to leave it at that. Mm, that is all for now. Thanks, Varric. No problem. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so keep going this way. And Solas. The chosen of Andraste. A blessed hero sent to save us all. I'm no hero. I've no interest in being a hero. All I want is to find a way to seal this breach. Pragmatic, but ultimately irrelevant. I've journeyed deep into the fade in ancient ruins and battlefields to see the dreams of lost civilizations. I've watched as hosts of spirits clash to reenact the bloody past in ancient wars, both famous and forgotten. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. You study ancient ruins. What do you mean ruins and battlefields? Any building strong enough to withstand the rigors of time has a history. Every battlefield is steeped in death. Both the tracks. I got spirits. two bottles. They oh press my against death. the veil, beginning <laughs> the, the barrier one. between our worlds. <laughs> when I Throw dream in such places, right I go deep into the fade. I don't even know how I can to find open memories that. no other living being other than has how seen. to open it to put water in there, but I don't know like how you open it to drink from it. It's a bottle I've never had before. Uh, how can you sleep there? You fall asleep in the middle of ancient ruins. Isn't that dangerous? I do set wards. And if you leave food out for the giant spiders, they are usually content to live and let live. That's impressive. I've never heard of anyone going so far into the Fade. That's extraordinary. Thank you. It's not a common field of study for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. Not so flashy as throwing fire or lightning. The thrill of finding remnants of a thousand-year-old dream? I would not trade it for anything. I will stay there. At least until the breach has been closed. Was that in doubt? I am an apostate surrounded by Chantry forces in the middle of a mage rebellion. Cassandra has been accommodated. But you understand my caution. Cassandra will protect you. Cassandra trusts you. She won't let anyone put you into a circle against your will. Thank you. 
Hello, hello, Ghost Gaming. How are you? And welcome to the stream. But now let's hope either the mages or the templars have the power to seal the breach. We're just playing some Dragon Age Inquisition. Right now we're just getting some dialogue stuff here in Haven out of the way and some little side quests and maybe we can get into some action. Closing the breach is our primary goal. But I hope we might also discover what was used to create you. Any artifact of such power is dangerous. The destruction of the Conclave proves that much. You think it survived? You don't think whatever created the explosion was destroyed in the blast? You survived, did you not? The artifact that created the breach is unlike anything seen in this age. I will not believe it destroyed until I see the shattered fragments with my own eyes. I agree. We would do well to try to recover whatever created the breach. Liliana's people have scoured the area near the blast and found nothing. Whatever the artifact was, it is no longer there. In any case, did you need me for anything? Mm, tell me about the Fade. What do you know about the Fade? A great deal, to my wondering. There are a few hard facts, but I can share what I have learned. What can you tell me about the Breach? I'd like to know more about the Breach. Simply put, it is a tear in the veil between this world and the Fade, allowing spirits to enter the world physically. Small tears occur naturally when magic weakens the veil. Or when spirits cluster at an area that has seen many deaths. If your mark allows you to exert some control over the breach, that means it was created deliberately. Uh huh. All right, tell me about the veil. I'd like to know more about the veil. Circle mages call it a barrier between this world and the Fade. But according to my studies in ancient elven lore, that is a vast oversimplification. Without it, imagine if spirits entered freely. The Fade was not a place one went, a state of nature like the wind. Sounds marvelous. It sounds like it would be wonderful. And dangerous. But yes, a world where imagination defines reality, where spirits are as common as trees or grass. Instead, spirits are strange and fearful, and the Fade is a terrifying world touched only by mages and dreamers. I am glad that I'm not alone in seeing the beauty of such a world, along with the obvious peril. Tell me about the demons. I'd like to know more about demons. The Chantry says that demons hate the natural world and seek to bring their chaos and destruction to the living. But such simplistic labels misconstrue their motivations, and in so doing, do uh, all a great disservice. You still see a flash of the breach from here. wish to join the living. And the demon? That wish gone wrong. Can we change that? Is there a way to coexist? To live with them, if not in peace, at least without such active confrontation. Not in the world we know today. The veil creates a barrier that makes true understanding most unlikely. But the question is a good one, and it matters that you thought to ask. We'll talk later. Goodbye. All right. Uh. There's still a little bit of dialogue left with Solus. Greetings. Da, 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 da. There we go. That way that's out of the way. I'd like Tell to know about more yourself. about you, Solus. Why? I respect you. You're an apostate, yet you risked your freedom to help the Inquisition. Not the wisest course of action when framed that way. I appreciate the work you're doing, Solus. I just wanted to know more about you. I'm sorry. With so much fear in the air. Mm -hmm. What would you know of me? Uh, why study the Fade? What made you start studying the Fade? What was your interest? I grew up in a village to the north. There was little to interest the young man, especially one gifted with magic. But as I slept, the spirits of the Fade showed me glimpses of wonders I had never imagined. I treasured my dreams. Being awake, out of the Fade, became troublesome. Sounds dangerous. Did spirits try to tempt you? No more than a brightly colored fruit is deliberately tempting you to eat it. I learned how to defend myself from more aggressive spirits and how to interact safely with the rest. Mm -hmm. I learned how to control my dreams with full consciousness. There was so much I wanted to explore. Clearly you woke up. I gather you didn't spend your entire life dreaming. No. Eventually I was unable to find new areas in the Fade. Why? 
two reasons. First, the fade reflects the world around us. Unless I traveled, I would never find anything new. Second, ah. the fade reflects and is limited by our imagination. To find interesting areas, one must be interested. Is that why you're here? Is this why you joined the Inquisition? I joined the Inquisition because we were all in terrible danger. If our enemies destroy the world, I would have nowhere to lay my head while dreaming of the Fade. I hope that works. I wish you luck. Thank you. In truth, I've enjoyed experiencing more of life to find more of the Fade. How so? You strengthen your body to deliver and withstand punishment. The muscles are an enjoyable side benefit. You have chosen a path whose steps you do not dislike because it leads to a destination you enjoy. As have I. Uh, where have you studied? What is that, number four? Number four. You said you'd traveled to many different places. This world, or its memory, is reflected in the fade. Dream in ancient ruins? You may see a city lost to history. Some of my fondest memories were found in crumbling cities, long picked dry by treasure seekers. The best of the battlefields. Spirits press so tightly on the veil that you can slip across with but a thought. Which battlefields? Any place in particular? I dreamt at Ostagar. I witnessed the brutality of the Darkspawn and the valor of the Ferelden warriors. I saw Alistair and the hero Ferelden light the signaled fire, and Loghain's infamous betrayal of Caelan's forces. Tell me what happened. I've heard the stories. It would be interesting to hear what it was really like. That's just it. In the Fade, I see reflections created by spirits who react to the emotions of the warriors. One moment, I see heroic wardens lighting the fire and a power-mad villain sneering as he lets King Caelan fall. The next, I see an army overwhelmed and a veteran commander refusing to let more soldiers die in a lost cause. And you can't tell which is real. It is the Fade. They are all real. Do you work with anyone? Have you always traveled and studied alone? Not at all. I have built many lasting friendships. Spirits of wisdom, possessed of ancient knowledge, happy to share what they had seen. Spirits of purpose helped me search. Even wisps, curious and playful, would point out treasures I might have missed. Wisdom and purpose. I don't know of any spirits by those names. They rarely seek this world. When they do, their natures do not often survive exposure to the people they encounter. Wisdom and purpose are too easily twisted to pride and desire. Those are demon names. You're saying that you became friends with pride and desire demons? They were not demons to me. Meaning? The fade reflects the mind of the living. If you expect a spirit of wisdom to be a pride demon, it will adapt. And if your mind is free of corrupting influences, if you understand the nature of the spirit, they can be fast friends. That's amazing. I'm impressed that you could become friends with spirits. Anyone who can dream has the potential. Few have a trust. My friends comforted me in grief and shared my joy. Yet, because they exist without form, as we understand it, the Chantry declares that spirits are not truly people. Is Cassandra defined by her cheekbones and not her face? Varric by his chest hair and not his wit? Yeah, spirits aren't people. I hadn't thought about it that way. But I see your point. I... Thank you. Few are willing to entertain such a notion. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Very interesting conversation. Very interesting. Alright. Apothecary. Find recipes throughout the exploration, exploration or by visiting merchants. Visiting an apothecary would urge you gather in the wilderness to upgrade potions. Use the equipment station to assign different potions to each of your party members and to replenish the potion you are carrying. Use the upgrade station to unlock permanent upgrades to your potions. Thank you for hurrying with the potions. We have so many injured. We'll get them back on their feet, sister. Don't you worry. <laughs> Look who's back from the dead. Again. We've met. I don't recall meeting you before. I'd be surprised if you did. You weren't particularly coherent. Someone had to patch you up after you staggered out of making those wear, though. So, you're welcome. I've had better days. It has been a rough few days. <coughs> That's 
an understatement. And more ahead if the weather is any indication. Name's Adan. I'm in charge of keeping our little band here stocked with potions and elixirs. Not that Seeker Pentagast seems to care whether we've got the supplies to actually do that. <laughs> You're a bit cranky. For a healer, you don't seem particularly nurturing. I'm not a healer. <laughs> I'm an alchemist who's forced to play Mother Hen. You want something to burst into flame on contact with the air? Done. Glad. Patching up wounded soldiers is a waste of my time and talents. But there are a few around who can help. How are things? How are your people holding up? No shortage of work. That's for damn sure. Uh, need any help? Is there anything I can do to help out? We're fine as far as raw labor goes. You've more important things to do than tend to me. I only wish I'd been able to find Master Tajin's notes. Old bastard was working on something special. He died at the Conclave, and his notes weren't here. Been too busy dealing with the wounded to look for them. How do I order potions? How do I go about having potions made? Just take a look there and tell me what you'd like. Find a recipe for something better, I can make that too. Huh. What is this? Equip potions? Do you have potions to equip? Potion assignment and replenishment. You can equip or replenish potions for each party member. Drag potions from the list to the left of the to the slots on the bottom right to assign them to the current party member. You must replenish potions before you can use them. Healing potions are replenished for free automatically. Oh, well, that's good. But all other potions require herbs for replenishing. The type of number of herbs, the type and number of herbs required appear next to the selected potions description. Go to the slot in the bottom right to replenish and equip potion. Hmm. Regeneration restores 26 health every 2 seconds for 60 seconds. Huh. Okay. Let me know if you need anything. Interesting. A lot of this I'm just, I am relearning because it has been years since I played this. Let's see. Potion upgraded. You can upgrade potions you have already unlocked. To upgrade a potion, select a category, select a potion, then select the upgrade. Potion upgrades require a significant amount of herbs to unlock. In return, they give permanent and significant bonuses to your potions. I need 29 elf root. I need... Oh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Unknown potion. Tonics. Grenades. Grenades. Okay, a lot of this stuff, when I first got this game, I never really messed with. But since I am older than what I was when I first played this, I'm actually going to get more into it. And don't mind me, I'm just going to loop through this. Hey, okay, toy. Patient observation, stay two. Pulse normal, breathing normal, still unresponsive. Careful drop, feed of prep. Elf roof extractor, hasten his recovery. A lot of thrashing. Mutters about too many eyes. Something about the gray. Encouraging? Ha! Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. And now we must go outside the walls. No, 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 no. Back. Loot. Elf root. I can hear my roommates and my friends in the other room, so I'm just looking down to see my mics catching that too. <laughs> we'll need some of your cloth for bandages. And how much is much to sell? Exclamation point. Still got demons falling out of the rest. Oh. 
There is nothing left in there. I already got it. Da, 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 You're worried about da, 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 Siege equipment. We're not laying siege to anything. Someone comes to lay siege to us. Perhaps it will be best for us to have some means to fight back. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> I don't know why we have siege equipment. Well, what do we have? We have siege equipment in case someone comes and tries to lay siege upon us. Do you understand? I don't know. Oh. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. You there? Yeah, ain't cut There's a shield in your hand. Block with it. If this man were your enemy, you'd be dead. Lieutenant, don't hold back. The recruits must prepare for a real fight, not a practice one. Yes, Commander. We've received a number of recruits, locals from Haven and some pilgrims. Mm -hmm. None made quite the entrance you did. Uh, it wasn't my choice. It wasn't my idea. I'd be concerned if it was. I was recruited to the Inquisition in Kirkwall myself. I was there during the Mage Uprising. I saw firsthand the devastation it caused. Sir. Cassandra sought a solution. When she offered me a position, I left the Templars to join her cause. Yeah, especially after your night commander went mad. Worse. You trust in the Inquisition? You left the Templars for this. You believe the Inquisition can work? I do. The Chantry lost control of both Templars and Mages. Now they argue over a new divine while the breach remains. The Inquisition could act when the Chantry cannot. Our followers would be part of that. There's so much we can... Forgive me. I doubt you came here for a lecture. You thought this through? You've given this a lot of thought. I know what happens when order is lost, and action comes too late. <laughs> uh, there's still a lot oh, of... Oh, yeah, work. we still need to talk to Varric about... Commander, uh, Red Sir Ryden has a report on our supply lines. As I was saying... You know, I'm surprised this is all this animation of these practice fights is actually going really smooth. Yes. Uh, da, 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 da. Tell me about Templar life. I'd like to know more about the Templars. If you need insight into what the Order is doing now, I'm afraid I can't offer more than you already know. Anything else, I will answer as best I can. How are Templars trained? What does Templar training involve? There is weapon and combat training. Even without their abilities, Templars are among the best warriors in Sadus. Initiates must also memorize portions of the Chant of Light, study history, and improve their mental focus. Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy your training? I wanted to learn everything. If I was giving my life to this, I would be the best Templar I could. You were a model student. <laughs> I wanted to. I wasn't always successful. Watching a candle burn down while reciting the chant of transfiguration wasn't the most exciting task. And I admit, my mind sometimes wandered. Tell me about their vows. Do Templars take vows? I swear to the Maker to watch all the mages. That sort of thing? Ah. There's a vigil first. You're meant to be at peace during that time, but your life is about to change. When it's over, you give yourself to a life of service. That's when you're given the filter, your first draft of lyrics. It's powerful. As Templars, we are not to seek wealth or acknowledgement. Our lives belong to the Maker and the path we have chosen. Mm hmm. What do Templars do? Do the Templars do anything besides hunt mages? Templars protect against the dangers of magic. 
Before the Order left the Chantry, that meant serving in a circle. They were also tasked with tracking apostates, or fighting demons never to be summoned by the weak or malicious. What do you think of mages? What do you think of mages? Are they all a threat? I've seen the suffering magic can inflict. I've treated mages with distrust because of it. At times without cause. That was unworthy of me. I will try not to do so here. Not that I want mages moving through our base completely unchecked. We need safeguards in place to protect people, including mages, from possession of the beast. Mm-hmm, understandable. Uh, why did you become a Templar? Why did you join the Order? I could think of no better calling than to protect those in need. I used to beg the Templars of our local Chantry to teach me. At first, they merely humored me. I must have shown promise, or at least a willingness to learn. The Knight Captain spoke to my parents on my behalf. They agreed to send me for training. I was 13 when I left home. Not very old. 13. It's still so young. I wasn't the youngest there. Some children are promised to the Order at infancy. Whoa! Still, I didn't take on full responsibilities until I was 18. The Order sees you trained and educated first. What about your family? What about your family? Did you miss them? Of course. But there were many my age who felt the same. We learned to look out for one another. So you lived in a circle? You've lived in the circle. What was a typical day for a Templar there? <laughs> typical. The last time I was in a circle was right before it fell apart. Nothing was typical. Before that, then? Certain rituals require a full guard. A mage's howling, for instance. I've attended a few. Most of the time, you merely maintain a presence on patrol or in the circle, ready to respond if needed. Mages pretend mm -hmm. to ignore that presence, but they're watching you just as closely. Uh, do you not speak to the mages? Do Templars and mages never speak to each other? Some do, but Templars are supposed to maintain a certain distance from their charges. If a mage is possessed or uses blood magic, you must act quickly, without hesitation. Your judgment cannot be clouded. Of course, ignoring one another does nothing to foster understanding. Hello. That's all I wanted to know. Thank you. Should you require anything, I'll be here. Did you need something? Okay. Uh, why did the Templars leave? Why would Templars break away from the Chantry? The Order believes the Chantry no longer supports their efforts. Not to the extent they should. Tell me about your colleagues. What do you think of the people you work with? Who do you mean? Wow. Uh, I guess, tell me about our soldiers. Are you satisfied with the Inquisition's forces? Our numbers are small, but they suit our needs for the time being. Some Templars have joined us instead of following the order. Well, that's They've proven invaluable in training the recruits. What do you think of our ambassador? We have little. How she delights in meeting with nobles all day is beyond me. But I enjoy working with her. And Liliana? How do you like working with Liliana? The Inquisition would not exist without her. I may not always agree with her methods, but she's more passionate about our cause than anyone. Cassandra may have declared the Inquisition publicly, and Liliana is just as responsible for its formation. I should let you get back to work. I should, but I'm not. <laughs> Did you need something? <laughs> um, uh, uh, I should get to know you better. We're working together, after all. What would you like to know? All right. Uh, where are you from? How do I act for Eldon? My esteemed Lady Sidonia, I'd like to take full responsibility for Lady Marcelli's odd behavior late. You see, we recently began the study of history. I thought that it would do the young mistress some good to be exposed to all these thieves and coaches, not just for they, which are foolish. Regrettable, your dear daughter has taken a particular interest in Corrald and folklore. What is this? I grew up in Ferelden near Holland. I was transferred to Kirkwall shortly after the blight. This is the first I've returned in almost ten years. Oh, wow. 
Varric's from Kirkwall. Did you two know each other? I knew he was friends with the champion of Kirkwall, but little else. We've ah. spoken more since I joined the Inquisition, largely at Varric's insistence. Apparently, I spend too much time with a serious expression on my face, and it's bad for my health. Huh. Uh, you were away for a long time. You haven't seen Ferelden in ten years. Are you glad to be back? I was not sorry to leave at the time. I did not expect to return. Now, between the Divine's murder and the breach, I've arrived to find nothing but chaos. Yeah, it sounds about right. <laughs> Tell me about the Blight. You were in Ferelden during the Blight. Did you fight Darkspawn? No. I was stationed at Ferelden's Circle Tower. The Circle had troubles of its own. I remained there during the Blight. What happened at the Circle? What happened at the Circle Tower? You who survived the Blight have fond memories of that time. I would prefer not to speak of it. Very well. Tell me about Kirkwall. What was Kirkwall like? While I was there, Canari occupied and then attacked the city. The Viscount's murder caused political unrest. Relations between mages and Templars fell apart. The state blew up the Chantry, and the Knight Commander went mad. Yeah? Oh, man, fine. <laughs> Other than that, it was fine. <laughs> Tell me about the rebellion. What happened between Kirkwall's mages and Templars? You were at the Conclave. You must have heard people speak of it. Yes, but you were there. There was tension between mages and Templars long before I arrived. Eventually, it reached a breaking point. There was fighting in the streets. Abominations began killing both sides. It was a nightmare. How did it end? What happened then? The Templars should have restored order. The Red Lyrian driven Knight Commander Meredith mad. She threatened to kill Kirkwall's champion, turned on her own men. I'm not sure how far she would have gone. Too far. So you opposed her? I stood yep. the champion against her in the end. I should have seen through Meredith sooner. That's it. I'll let you return to your work. Should you require anything, I'll be here. All right, now to Cassandra and then one more person. Actually, one more person in there. <laughs> Impressive. You're kind of a force of nature, aren't you? <laughs> when I need to be. It's impressive. You flatter me. I'm trying. Did I do the right thing? <laughs> what I have set in motion here could destroy everything I have revered my whole life. One day they may write about me as a traitor, a madwoman, a fool, and they may be right. What do you believe? What does your faith tell you? I believe you are innocent. I believe more is going on here than we can see. And I believe no one else cares to do anything about it. They will stand in the fire and complain that it is hot. But is this the Maker's will? I can only guess. You don't think I'm chosen? You don't think I'm the Herald of Andraste? I think you were sent to help us. I hope you were. But the Maker's help takes many forms. Sometimes it's difficult to discern who it truly benefits, or how. So what happens next? What's going to happen now? Now? We deal with the Chantry's panic over you before they do even more harm. <laughs> then we close the breach. We are the only ones who can. <laughs> After that, we find out who is responsible for this chaos, and we end them. And if there are consequences to be paid for what I have done, I pay them. I only pray the price is not too high. You had to do it. You didn't have any choice. Didn't I? My trainers always said, Cassandra, you are too brash. You must think before you act. Mm -hmm. I see what must be done, and I do it. I see no point in running around in circles like a dog chasing its tail. But I misjudged you in the beginning, did I not? I thought the answer was before me, clear as day. 
I cannot afford to be so careless again. You had cause. It wasn't like you had no reason to suspect me. I was determined to have someone answer for what happened. Anyone. You've said you don't believe you're chosen. Does that mean you also don't believe in the Maker? That's correct. No, I don't. It must be comforting to be so certain. I have to believe we were put on this path for a reason, even if you do not. Now it simply remains to see where it leads us. <laughs> it occurs to me I don't actually know much about you. What do you want to know? I'm not sure. Where are you from? You don't know. I thought you knew that. I suppose I could ask Liliana. She has collected a frightening amount of information on you. But I don't want to ask her. I want to hear it from you. Uh, tell her. I was born in Ostwick, and that's where most of my family is. The Trevelyans, is it not? A large clan with a rather clever coat of arms. Tell me, do you consider the free marches your home? Are you eager to go back? Home is wherever I am. Wherever I am is home enough for me. That's how I feel now. After years of tending to business for the divine. Oh. Uh, tell me about yourself. I'd like to get to know you better. You would? Is that a problem? Not entirely. <coughs> I'm just curious as to your motivation. <laughs> is there any harm in us becoming a little closer? Plenty. Ah. <laughs> is that right? As you wish. My name is Cassandra Pentecost. Daughter of the royal house of Navarra, 78th in line for well, the Well, she disapproved of that. <laughs> I joined the Six of Truth as a young woman, and was with the Order until they withdrew from the Chantry. I remained as the Divine's right hand, carrying out her order to form the Inquisition. And here we are. That's all there is to know, my lord. So you're Navarian royalty. You're a member of Navarra's royal family. The Pentagasts are a very large clan. Half of Cumberland could say the same. Really? No, but it feels that way. I have hundreds of relatives so distant they need charts to prove we're related at all. And mm. they have them. Oh, yes. The Pentagasts value their precious blood like it runs with gold. Is that why you left? <laughs> and you joined the Seekers to get away from them? It was a life worth getting away from. The Pentagasts are famed for dragon hunting, but few actually pursue the craft. Most are fat and lazy. They pay lip service to the Maker and care only for idle pleasures and past glory. My brother was all that kept me in Navarra. Once he was gone, so was I. Tell me about Navarra. You don't seem to like your homeland. My family polluted it for me. What little I saw of my homeland was through the bars of a gilded cage. My uncle treated me like a porcelain doll to be placed on a shelf and dusted only when necessary. Thus, I did not see Navarra, the real Navarra, until much later. By then, I realized I knew it not at all. What happened to your brother? Tell me about your brother. I'd rather not. Okay. Uh, so you worked for the Divine. So you were the right hand to the Divine. To Divine Justinia, yes. And Divine Beatrix before her, in fact. The position is normally reserved for Templars of the Knights Divine. But my circumstances were unusual. Unusual, huh? You don't know the story? Thank the Maker. I will tell you if you wish. But it isn't as exciting as some drum it up to be. The short version mm -hmm. is that I once saved the previous Divine's life. My reward was becoming her right hand. What is a right hand? But what does a right hand do exactly? 
gives. What is your hand capable of? It gives, it takes, it beckons, it makes a fist. Liliana and I extended the divine's reach beyond the Grand Cathedral. We went where she could not. Up to Beatrix, I was tired of the position and wanted to return to the Seekers. But Justinia convinced me to stay. Her vision for the future gave me hope. You believed in her. You thought she could really change things. Justinian knew the war was coming long before it began. She tried to avert it, but the forces arrayed against her were too strong. Sometimes you have to break a bone so it can be reset. That's where the Inquisition comes in. It was to be the answer. A means to preserve as well as an agent for change. I only wish she had lived to see it. Okay, I don't feel like we need to do three because I think we just got pulled. Uh, that's it for now. I'll let you get back to work. Okay, now we need to talk to the horse master. If the Inquisition wants to feel the decent cavalry, it needs better horses. I heard six expected you'd be by. I'm Harry, and everyone knows who you are. How's the new gear fit? Quite well. Sturdy and warm. It's perfect. Good. World's gone mad. Stock armor and blades are good against bandits, but we're not fighting bandits. My gear will see you through demons, apostates, whatever this world throws at you. Uh -huh. So, you need custom work. Something special. You bring the materials to us, we'll make it happen. Hmm. What can you make here? What can you and your team make here? Arms and armor. We work iron to blighted and dragon bugs, if you've got it. Our designs are simple, but they get the job done. You want something fancy? Bring your own design. We'll see what we can do. Hmm. I do remember, uh... When I did play this game, I did mess around with, uh, armor and weapon customizations. That was pretty interesting, especially once you added certain uh, metals to your armor. It changed the color of your armor. That was pretty interesting. What's your story, my friend? How did you come to be here? Come from a little town called Lodring. Long gone now. I was in Redcliffe when the Darkspawn hit it during the Blight. Helped rebuild. Left when Walty decided it was time to hand the place over to the bloody mages. Ended up here. Just missed the boom. Can't decide if I'm the luckiest son of a bitch walking or the exact opposite. Lucky. You're still walking. That's always good. Yeah. Do, enough. Do, 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 do Do you outfit the troops? Who outfits the Inquisition soldiers? Not me. I've got work to do. Can't be passing a sword to every blighter who signs up. If you want to help the troops, talk to Thren, the quartermaster. She'll set up requisitions. I already have. Uh, uh, why do you need my materials? Does the Inquisition not have supplies to make armor or weapons? Tough convincing traders to haul up here. Impossible to get them to risk the rare stuff, so that's on you. Ah. Uh, can you improve my equipment? Can you help improve my arms and armor? Yes. You find a new piece. Pauldron or Greaves will take care of you. You can't just slap a new ill on your sword in the field. Bring it here, we'll make sure it's done right and proper. Okay, do you have any designs for number three? If I want something, what can you make? Start simple. Something to keep you safe. Take a look at it on the table there and we can talk. You'll need materials. We should have what you want just outside. Alright, thank you. Goodbye. Da, 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 da. Okay. Alright, alright. So, I totally forgot that Varric also has information on Lit. I can't talk! On Red Lyria. Red Lyria. Uh, tell me about Red Lyria. The Red Lyrium we found at the temple seemed to upset you. 
My brother Bartrand and I sort of discovered red lyrium during an expedition in the deep roads. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We located an ancient tig, so old it barely looked dwarven. There was this idol there made of it. Bartrand brought it back to the surface, and well, everything's gone downhill from there. What is it exactly? So what is it? Just another kind of lyrium? The red stuff is lyrium like a dragon is a lizard. It's not just a different color. It has a whole host of weirdness all its own. I've written to every mining cast house in Orzammar. No one's seen this stuff before or knows where it came from. What can it do? What makes it special? Regular lyrium can mess you up pretty badly, but you have to ingest it for that to happen. Red lyrium messes with your mind when you're just near the stuff. You hear singing, get violent, paranoid, and then it does creepy shit. Makes things float, brings statues to life. Yeah. It also turned Kirkwall's night commander to lyrium. Everyone's been kept at least a hundred paces from it since. Why was it in the temple? How did the Red Lyrium get in the Temple of Sacred Ashes? I don't know. So as far as I knew, the only piece to make it to the surface was destroyed. And the location of the Tiger came from is a secret. Did someone find more of it in the Deep Roads? That's not a cheery thought. That's enough for now. I think that's enough on Red Lyrium. Yeah, not really my favorite subject. Yeah, considering... Okay, so... There are 12 deposits out there in the world that we have to find and destroy. <clears throat> Alright, so. There are some things out here that has to be done. Uh, da, 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 haven. Keep a key catching up. So is active. Approaching a location that I don't know how I can. Uh, nope. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I could just. <laughs> I, I, I did remember that there was an actual walking trail over there. Oh, help me. Resources. I need this stuff to help improve potions. Upgrade them. Can I loot this chest? Yes, I can. Super staff. Contest pulses, press V to search. Searching indicates the direction of hidden objects within with an additional pulse on the ground, and if you're close enough, reveals them. Might be something here. Better take a closer look. Mm -hmm. Return the notes to Aiden. That's the uh I can't put my finger on it because I know what Alchemist, that's it, that's it, that's the one. Alchemist. That's the alchemist, right? Iron. Well, I've got the iron. I thought I needed more. But apparently not. There was a gate to go through, right? Oh, yes, there it is. Alright, there we go. More. 
iron. Oh, you can never have enough iron. I'm surprised they don't make you have to go buy a pickaxe. You just gather it by hand. Oh! Okay, okay, I see. It's not just one. It could be a number. Like that one was two, the one before it was a three, so that's why. Okay. I see, I see. I am learning. Okay, I don't know if there could be a possibility of a fight. So let me save. I said, might as well just gather materials while I'm out here. Da, 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 da. sound. Or was that the wind? Is this a logging site? It is a logging site. Yep, logging site located. What is this? Is this a buffalo? Or some sort of creature that's like a buffalo? Hmm. We'll gather more elf root real quick before I go back to the alchemists and the... Quartermaster. Okay, let's all head back. Head back, give what I found to the Alchemist. Hello. Shortcut. That way I don't have to go all the way back that way. You're back, and in one piece. Yes, even though I haven't really left. You said you thought Master Tajin was working on something special. Mm -hmm. If it helps, I found his notes. <laughs> the old codger was on the edge of a breakthrough here, but he couldn't see it. You want some of these mixed up? You just give the word. Oh, thank you. Farewell. Ooh, upgrade potions. Because I think I got enough to upgrade healing. Now I don't. I need 12. I mean, I have 12. Okay, can't do anything 
anything there. Can't do anything there. Okay, so no, I cannot do any kind of upgrades. Alright, so let's uh, fill the requisition. Nice work with those supplies. The smiths can use them to fit our troops with better gear. Might not affect you much, mm -hmm. but our recruits will have better chances next time some monster flies out of a rift. Can I get that? Farewell. Make a go with you. Oh, yay. That gave me power. Power is very important. Search him in there, it has no sort of ammo. That may prove more effective than you think. Good day to you. Anything to report? What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on steadfast allies. We must aim for more. All right. <laughs> Let's speak later. Another time. Summon the war council. We've gotten things done. We're ready to proceed. And now we're about to get into the fun stuff. Harvest for fruit. A portion of the profits will be passed to you. Use it wisely. Commander Colin, your honor guard was a welcome sight at the Divine's Vigil. As a measure of thanks, I am sending Ferelden arms and equipment to your troops. Sincerely, Jiren Fergus Kuzlet. <laughs> you were relatives of the Trevelyans. Dear Lady Montelier. Splendid news, Lord Trevelyan's relatives have become much more careful about invoking the name of the Inquisition. In fact, they appear to be deliberately avoiding me as well, as if they're afraid that the more the Inquisition scrutinizes them, the more may be made to clear so to I, I mess with the Inquisition scrutinizes them, the more may be made clear to our eyes. Just imagine. I trust you are in good health. Tell me how does the left hand the divine fare these days? Please pass on my compliments to Sister Liliana, whose work I always admire. Best regards, Lady Buttletort. <clears throat> Hard in High Town 3, Barrett's Revenge. Ruffles, I need a favor. Actually, let's call it a loan since I'll pay it back. I got a letter from my editor in Kirkwall today. She tells me that Hard in High Town 3, the re punching scene appeared in print from an Antivian printer a couple weeks ago. I'll give you a moment to contemplate the horror that is the, that title. <coughs> I had my contacts in the merchants in the merchants guild look for the author of a couple years back. The best they could find out after spending a couple of hundred gold was that Pryrel Bentonol Bentonolfort is a pen name. I could have told them that for free. You've got contacts with the Ativian print houses. Maybe you could find out more than the guild, Varric. Twelve, fifteen. Let's see what we have. Alright. Well, it takes care of that. Uh, gather coins available again. Let's see, address a nobleman's concerns. Harold, your Inquisition says it's for order against chaos. Reason in darkness. 
If you stand by this, come forth and drive the heretics from my lands. They claim to be refugees, but I have seen elves and apostates among them. Filthy savages tearing at our roots. A monarch refuses to send forth armies, and my own knights were decimated at the conclave. I require your aid to return peace to my land. Prove your loyalty, and I will see you richly rewarded for your fate. 20 minutes, we could send a few patrols, but I would prefer that they help the refugees, not this Lord Kildar. 20 minutes. And as well as Kildar, I, uh, even among his peers, Livest and I, polite refusal and nothing more. To work? You do that. And then, uh, gather more coin. Apparently this one does not go away. And then we can go pretty much in the Kirk Wall to the Blackened Forge. If we want to, it's free to go to. Ah, uh, but not right now. Let us proceed to the hinderments. Fast travel. Venture forth. chat so we're i'm finally done with all the dialogue that was taking place in haven and also some of the stuff that was also having to be done and haven now we're finally getting to some action and proceeding on in the story but the dialogue stuff can be important later on down the road Especially when it comes to forming relationships. World of Andraste. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. It's an honor to meet you, my lord. Inquisition Scout Harding, at your service. I, well, all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's High Town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be harding and I... No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. What's the word out here? What's the situation out here in the hinterlands? We came to secure horses from Redcliffe's old horse master. Hmm. I grew up here, and people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostbacks. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother mm -hmm. Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war's spread there, too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but... they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. Very well. Then we must proceed. Oh, we do... Schematics available. Okay, we can rest. Uh oh. Interesting. Okay. Uh, uh. Alright, Barrack. Two points to spend. Apply. Because that was always a very. Use the poison weapons, apply. Right, next. Solus. There are times I've accidentally put a T and I call him Stolus. <laughs> Two points. Okay. So I guess we can do Inferno and Storm. Chain Lightning. Now Inferno. Flash Fire. You unleash a massive explosion, leaving enemies in the area burning in agony. You unite an enemy with searing pain and 
send them fleeing in panic. Huh. Cassandra? Okay, so she's got these two. She also has two points. That comes in handy. And Vanguard. Oh, by the way, you're a hurting thing, so I'm not going to use it. Okay. Using techniques preferred by Legion Chevaliers, you can't be flanked by enemies and you're less likely to be staggered to hit. Yeah! I like that. And that should be everybody, right? Yep, okay. We're good. Everybody's been leveled up. Discovered the outskirts. There are 29 regions to discover. Huh? We do this. A letter in an empty home. Write this. I know you escaped with the other mages, and I know you'll come here. Father told me that if you ever strayed, he'd put you down himself. If you're here, you know he's dead, but I'm not. I'll be killing apostates and waiting for you at old Phoenix Place to the north. I've got Father's sword and my true brothers and the Templars. Come, if you're mad enough. Yevon. That may be worth investigating. Road and officer longbow. Ah, uh, sure. To sell it. Very don't really need it because Bianca. Oh, hello. I see that. Mother Giselle should be somewhere nearby. As well as the fight. Ooh, iron. Inquisition forces. They're trying to protect the refugees. Looks like they could use a hand. Hold. We are not apostates. I do not think they care, Sika. Well. We are not Templars. We mean you no harm. Doesn't look like they're listening. Don't worry, I will thaw you out. Never mind, I did not thaw. He still froze. around with the level up later. Impressive shield. That's the 
end of it. Huh. The village is safe now. It is now under the protection of the Inquisition. There are mages here who can heal your wounds. Lie still. Don't... Don't touch me, Mother. Their magic is... Turn to noble purpose. Their magic mm. is surely no more evil than your blade. What? <laughs> Hush, dear boy. Allow them to ease your suffering. Mother Giselle? I am. And you must be the one they are calling... The Herald of Andraste. <laughs> I don't want them to. Not through any choice of mine. <laughs> we seldom have much say in our fate. I'm sad to say. So you agree with them? I don't presume to know the Maker's intentions. For any of us. But mm. I did not ask you to come simply to debate with me. Then why am I here? I know of the Chantry's denouncement, and mm -hmm. I am familiar with those behind it. I won't lie to you. Some of them are grandstanding, hoping to increase their chances of becoming the new divine. Some mm. are simply terrified. So many good people, senselessly taken from us. It was a tragedy. What happened was horrible. Fear makes us desperate, but hopefully not beyond reason. Go to them. Convince the remaining clerics you are no demon to be feared. They have heard only frightful tales of you. Give them something else to believe. They want me dead. They want to execute me, and you think I should just walk up to them? You are no longer alone. They cannot imprison or attack you. Mm. They could try. Let me put it this way. You needn't convince them all. You just need some of them to doubt. Their power is the unified voice. Take that from them and you receive the time you need. Are you sure? So I show up, say hello, show them the mark on my hand. I honestly <laughs> don't know if you've been touched by fate or sent to help us, but I hope. Hope is what we need now. The people will listen to your rallying call, as they will listen to no other. You could build the Inquisition into a force that will deliver us, or destroy us. Mm. I will go to Haven, and provide Sister Leliana the names of those in the Chantry, who will be amenable to a gathering. It is not much, but I will do whatever I can. It's something. Corporal Vale is coordinating the Inquisition's efforts in the area. We should speak with him. And I leveled up. Let's see what we got here. Shieldbreaker, your critical hit. Crack armor and rend shields, shuttering your enemy's armor for a short time. Blow a battle. Every critical hit reduces the cooldown times on your abilities, giving you the edge to finish off your enemies. Hmm. <clears throat> Interesting. <laughs> Shield breaker. That was it, right? I believe everybody else has already done it. Wood for the cost. Right. That's why. Mm -hmm. What is this? Blame? I like blame! 
Saga Triad uh, Bright Axe Avon Mother. Seventh stanza. Holy crap. Triad uh, Bright Axe Dwarf Friend Chieftain and her leaf eared lover lay. Woo she did to love sweat sweat morning, lover gone in light of day. What is this a poem? Dream words whispered, spoken song. Still the silence cursed and crashing. Dead her tribe, unless a child could keep her lying in warrior fashion. Ah, Valvar, so named the lover, called our journey yours and mine. One day, child of Tridar's blood, more again, none, in strength and must shine. Lovers whispers to obey. And dear dwarf prince, friend in passion, babe produced to serve the line, the Avar tribe, her name are taking. Okay. I'm totally not confused by what I just read. help my wife please I beg you what is wrong what's wrong with your wife she gets sick when the weather's foul can't catch her breath like cobwebs in her lungs our son Hindle makes a potion that lets her breathe he's the only one who can make it but he's joined that cult in the hills mm. please get to him and tell him what's wrong w without that potion she'll die you can count on me I will find your son and let him know of what is happening with his mother <laughs> I take. Oh. I take elf fruit. That's the last of the bread. It's going to be a long, hungry night. What's the problem? These people need food. There are rams out in the hills. Good eating, cooks easy, and no lords around to kill you for poaching. Too dangerous to go hunting now. More likely to find mages than luck. Good luck. Luck yeah. won't go. True. Ten rams me. I'm pleased to hear it. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure if you jump from a high place, you could probably just <laughs> make you lose health. Acquired elf root. I am going to acquire so much elf root. Welcome back. Good. Having a good day? Tell me more about this what place. Is this place? Mapmaking Tenderfoot named this the Hinterland. Uh, but right here, hmm, there's nowhere. Just uh -huh. some fields, and now a bunch of demons. Uh, I'm Giles, by the way. Goodbye. I need to be on my way. Make a watch over you then. Okay, random. What do you need? Random guy. Where are their coats? People are cold. What do you need to keep these refugees warm? Blankets, warm clothes, all of it. These poor sods lost everything when the mages and the Templars went crazy. If we were in a village, I could just pinch a blanket off a clothesline and be fine. Out here, I'm sure the apostates have plenty of supplies, just haven't been able to find them. Bye. Farewell. And to you. So, we're supposed to talk to a corporal? Long day. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who this corporal is. I think we missed him. Around again tomorrow. Well, let me know.
know if you find it. Oh, from the battle. Lamb's wool. Got that? Of course. Ah, there's Corporal Vale. You're with the Inquisition. Corporal Vale, thanks for your help. The Majors and Templars don't seem to care who gets caught in their war. The refugees here are in dire need mm -hmm. of help. If the war doesn't kill them, cold or starvation will. Tell me of the Templars. What can you tell me about the Templars? <laughs> All the Templars were called the Val Royale not long ago. These bastards ignored the order. Now they're killing rebel mages, along with any refugees they think are mage sympathizers. Every Templar I've ever known has wanted to protect the common folk. These men defile their order's good name. And the mages? What can you tell me about the rebel mages? The real rebels are up north in Redcliffe dug in and taking care of their own. The ones out here are just apostates, locked up in the circles all these years, and now they've gone mad with power. The rebels mm. in Redcliffe have washed their hands of them. I wish we could do the same. Are there any other concerns? What other problems do these refugees face? We've got some injuries that go beyond stitches and elf fruit. I know healers are in short supply. But if you can find someone in Redcliffe to help us, it would save a lot of lives. Hmm. I'm going to ask about uh, food and clothing because I've already done that. Alright, uh, tell me of the horse master. What can you tell me about the man who's supposed to be getting horses for the Inquisition? Horse master Dennis. He lives on a farm to the west. Tough old fella. We haven't heard from him. Best we can tell, he's old mm -hmm. up until the Majors and Templars are done killing each other. That's not gonna end anytime soon. Farewell. And you as well. Power. Stabilize areas by sealing fade roots. Expand the reach of the Inquisition by setting up new camps and complete quests to gain power and influence. Send power on scouting operations at the war table to unlock new opportunities. Gain enough influence increases the rank of your Inquisition and grants you access to unique perks. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of stuff I didn't really go into because I did not have the patience for this game. <laughs> I did beat it. I did beat it, and I did do a lot of stuff, but uh, <laughs> I didn't really pay attention to a lot of things. <laughs> but now that I'm older and I have patience... Let's see what we can do here. Welcome back. Make us a breath. If I were back in the city, I could just steal some blankets. Mm, okay, we're not going to do that. And it's just We're not going to do the Valio mission for a while. Look at this. The apostates have gone mad with power. The Templars aren't looking any better here. Oh, how unfortunate. We can only restore order by securing an alliance. I forget that I have very good. My mouth can wander off the screen. Uh, let me get chat back up. There we go. Sorry. I keep forgetting my mouse can wander off the screen and I could actually click something, such as end of the screen, which I did not do. Uh, 
Two of you do know you're being attacked, right? change tactics. I gotta figure that out. Inventory? No, I wouldn't do that. How do we change people's tactics is what I don't know. It's a quick here. Tactics. Here we go. Uh, The behavior screen allows you to provide instructions to your party on how they should fight, cooperate, and defend themselves in combat. While you can directly control and switch between party members at any time, they will follow these rules when you are not controlling them. That's what I need. Defend, follow. Okay, I have no idea. This is completely new to me. Okay, Stonus, defend. I don't know. This is totally. This is totally new. This is totally new to me. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Lambs. Yeah, I, I also forgot that I have to be very careful because I'm out. Stop walking into fire! What now? guys come from? Oh, everybody's ready to level up again. Wow. Um, hmm. I guess we'll do this one for Cassandra. Right. She has that ability as well. So let's Your aura of tranquility makes enemies less likely to attack you in battle, even when you damage them. Yes! Varric, level 4 mage. First blood, you've learned to pick apart enemies that are still unwounded and unwary. You do more damage to enemies that are only lightly injured. That's why you do more damage when firing from elevation. Huh. Try that. Okay, that's everybody. Which wood? Hmm. Oh. 
stronghold of the apostate mages. Are you tired of letting the witless fools bind you with their fear? Come to the Witchwood. Follow the signs. We will be free to work our craft. Free to become the new gods we have always known we truly are. Oh! It's not what it looks like! Oh. Oh my goodness, he burst into flames and bones! Gather up. Get over here! I am liking this weapon. Oh, that's what they're guarding. Red Lyrium. gone better bowstring destroy play Fort Connor Fort Connor was constructed by a young R. Eman after the Orlesians were driven from Bereldin it was named in honor of Eamon's father, who died at the Battle of West Hill, and after whom the Arl named his son. Eamon was determined for Redcliffe to stand as a shining example of Ferelden's strength. He constructed Fort Connor to watch the King's Highway and protect the Hinderlands against all enemies. It proved its fortitude against Darkspawn during the Fifth Flight, suffering damage only when the Darkspawn deployed emissaries. Ema said proudly at the time that Fort Connor was unbreakable by anything short of magic, and for that, thank the Maker, we have Templars. Huh. There are 
of mosaic pieces to find. Mm. Oh, more. Templar and Cap. Brothers, we must listen to the call of the Maker himself. Who has given us the duty to destroy these mages? By their rebellion, they have fortified their right to live. They are not people. And any order that asks us to end this just and righteous battle is a lie. A test sent by him to separate the faithful from the foolish. Join us off the West Road and fight for a worthy cause. Hmm. Off the West Road, eh? Hmm. That's the road we are traveling on. Cut. That's not lootable. Okay, you can have that. Sandra. I'm gonna take a regeneration potion. Uh, I'm gonna keep pushing forward. We must be ready to fight not only the mages, but those who sympathize with them. We have not the mages blood magic to trick the minds of the unwary. Are not most people, as we know, them sheep, ready to be led by those who speak with authority? The people must be protected from the mages. It is our right and our duty. But to those who supply them with lyrium, to those who offer them comfort and food, to those who shirk their duty to supply us for the worthy fight, these are sympathizers who have lain with demons and can breed only abominations. Wow. Abominations as they must be slain as such. We will wage our war from our camp off the West Road, and we will not stop until this world is clean. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hello. <laughs> I was prepared for your attack. Excellent. Oh, a chest. Tolas, have you always lived alone? Out in the wilderness as an apostate? For the most part. Would that not be incredibly trying? People could be trying. Mankind most of all. That is an excellent point. Oh. 
plane. Broken bridge. This bridge was broken recently, most likely in fighting between apostate mages and renegade templars. Ooh. Iron. And a cap. Here. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. Ow. It's four on one. different from the first two. This one you actually have to do the attacking. The others you just click on who you wanted your character to attack. Unless I just leave it in that mode, which is a possibility I could do. It would help keep me from accidentally flicking stuff off to the, the other screen. Templars have secured a position ahead. Not by burning, it's by freezing. Uh, that's not all of them. I can just do that and wait till I get hit. Granted, there's still more foes. Uh, over here. Road now. We must still deal with the apostates, however. Yeah, the apostates still have a camp somewhere. Swedish fingers. Swedish. Oh, Swedish. Not Swedish. I say, I don't think they have Swedish in this world. Plenty of iron. All right. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we'll get back to the road, and I am going to oh, save. Poster. I'm going to save, and I'm going to end stream here. Uh, for those on Twitch, we're actually going to raid someone. Today is Ravy's birthday. She is a... I, I know she's a Neko VTuber, but I think she is a... Demon Neko VTuber? But anyway, she is a very sweet person. Very nice. Uh, she also sings. She has a very lovely singing voice. So to which we are going to raid her. So I will get that set up. Raid. Switch over. Just chatting. Is there any to menu? Yes, I just saved. So we can go. Da, 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 da. But yes, today is her birthday. But thank you all so much for watching. And, uh, I hope you have enjoyed. I am going to get me something to eat. Afterwards. I thank you all so much for watching. If you were watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about this. And be sure to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when my next live stream happens. And if you were watching on Twitch, be sure to hit the follow button. Because it really helps the channel out a whole lot. Alright, Twitch. I'm going to get the raid ready. And we'll switch on over to... Uh, okay, I'm going to have to actually look up her channel. Because I do not know how to spell her name. So a lot of us call her Ravy, but her actual Ravina. Yeah, Ravina Demon Neko. She's currently playing Lethal Company. Alright, so Twitch, we uh, are going to get ready to do that. Right, so let me, let's get the message here. For today is Ravy's birthday. So Raiders, here is our message. Be sure to copy that. There we go. And I will end stream. And while the uh, ending title is going on, the raid will begin. So let me get the music set up and ready here. All right. And we'll be ready to raid here in uh, a little bit. So thank you all so much for watching. I have been Game Trooper 1138 and I will see you guys tomorrow for Alone in the Dark. So look forward to that. Thank you all. Good night. And I hope you all had a really great day. Bye-bye.